Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from December 6th to the 12th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here, Scorpio, is the chariot, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is a wheel of fortune in reverse. So your challenge here has a lot to do with uh, an energy of needing to move forward, okay? No longer allowing something here to hold you back. We're going to find out what the important message is from the chariot for you in a moment when we clarify. Now, in the recent past, you have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. I feel like in the recent past, a lot of you were devastated because of some sort of... Um, you know, painful situation that happened in a relationship, okay? I feel like this has a lot to do with maybe an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We're gonna clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Four of Swords, the Judgment, and the Ace of Swords. Somebody here in the present moment wants truth and clarity, okay? They want truth and clarity surrounding some sort of situation. I do feel someone here in the present moment is trying to get your attention um, about this situation, and there may be... Um, a healing period that's taking place in the present moment after the truth is revealed. Something here is going to be revealed if it hasn't been already to you um, in the present moment. We'll find out more about that in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Tower. So for many of you, I'm seeing in the near future, there is something here that somebody doesn't want to see for what it truly is, okay? They, it's, it's happening. Um, the, the tower is happening and somebody here is like, nope, I don't want to notice this. I don't want to see this. I just want to remove myself from it. Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so some of you in the near future are going to be going through some sort of change. And I feel like you're going to see somebody's true colors for what it truly is because it looks like someone here ends up being closed off. Okay, we're going to find out more in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Sun, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. What you don't see coming is the fact that there is some sort of sadness here, okay? And the reason why there's sadness here is because somebody decides to let either a commitment, um, a potential commitment, they let it go, okay? And this could be you, Scorpio. A lot of you are deciding to let something go here because you don't want to be involved in drama anymore. It's actually creating a lot of sadness for many of you, and it's actually either affecting a, a, a marriage you're in or a commitment that you're in right now. Why? Because there's a lack of cooperation. You and this person don't see eye to eye. And it's actually leaving both of you in a place of not seeing the opportunities that can and potentially are connected to this um, connection. Okay. So what you don't see coming is, is that there is a situation here that eventually you will let go of if you haven't done already. And you're going to have very clear reason why you let this situation go. Okay. This can, of course, change, but this is what I'm seeing here. So let's get into your reading and uh, let's see what's going on for you. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the chariot, which is your challenge. So the chariot is clarified by the three of wands, the page of swords, and the seven of wands. Somebody here doesn't want you to leave or disconnect. Okay, that's your biggest challenge. It's like you don't want to leave. You don't want to disconnect. And this is why, you know, at the bottom of the deck, it says four of pentacles in reverse. You're letting something go eventually. Okay, and that's why your challenge here is to move forward. Because although you may not want to move forward, you may have every reason of why you want to. You have every re reason of why you actually want to move forward. Some of you are um, going to receive information that's really 
really going to push you into a new direction. Okay. Um, your biggest challenge here is recognizing and realizing Scorpio that you're ready to move into a new direction. You're ready to take a leap of faith because you want more. There's something here about you wanting more in some sort of situation. And it's very difficult for you to move on past the situation, but this may be what's required for you to get to the next level. Okay. So let's get into your reading and, uh, let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the three of swords in the recent past. The Three of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Somebody here found the truth out in the past. Some of you were dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They weren't honest with you, okay? Or maybe you weren't honest with them, but I'm getting that they weren't honest with you. And as a result of that, you decided to cut this person off and be single, okay? This is what I'm seeing here. There was an offer here to have a relationship, but because the truth was found out, some of you found this person in a third party situation or this person lied to you, you may have found out or this person may have gotten away with it for a certain period of time, but that's what affected the commitment here, potentially. Let's clarify the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is clarified by the Star, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there was an opportunity to have a future relationship with this person, but because you weren't satisfied, you decided to disconnect from this, is what it's showing me, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here in the recent past. Now, in the present moment, you found the truth out. You've come to some sort of major realization, and at this point, a lot of you are in this place of healing and trying to recoup your energy. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in the present moment for Scorpio. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Tower, the King of uh, Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody here told you something. Either they told you something in the present moment or they're revealing something to you. I feel like there's communication coming in in the present moment from this person. Somebody here wants to reveal something to you and I don't think it's the greatest news. Okay, I'm sorry I have to report this, but this is what I'm seeing in your reading. You are going to learn something that really shakes up your reality. Okay, And it's coming in from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The truth is going to be revealed to you and the question is what are you going to do with this truth when you finally hear it there's something spirit wants you to recognize in the present moment when it comes to this situation that's happening in your life right now tell me more about the judgment what's what does spirit want scorpio to know in the present moment at this time So the judgment is clarified by the six of swords, the world and the four of wands. For many of you, you're getting all the signs and signals in regards to some sort of relationship that you may need to close out and remove yourself from. Because there's some sort of truth that shows up for you. And it's like you already know the truth now. You already know, you know, what it means to be in this connection with this person. And there's a lot of things that I feel weren't really revealed to you that are finally being revealed to you. And a lot of you are like, hey, what do I do with this information now? And spirit is saying, well, you need to ask yourself if you want to remain in a relationship like this because you see the truth now. OK, you've you, you've seen, you know, you've seen everything. There's nothing else for you to see. You can't unsee the truth. So it looks like in the present moment, someone here is deciding to end things and remove themselves because they, they know the truth and they need to enter into this place of healing. And I feel like this is you right now, okay, in the present moment. Tell me more about the Four of Swords in the present moment for Scorpio. The Four of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, Hanged Man, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah. You right now in the present moment, it's like you're not moving, you're not budging, you're not really taking action, okay? Because you're right now, I feel Scorpio, you're so focused on healing yourself and like recouping your energy after finding this truth out, finding something out here and it's like shocking. It's almost shocking that you find this situation out. In fact, I feel like in the present moment, a lot of you are trying to look at this situation from a different perspective. You may even be saying to yourself, wow, like I don't wanna let go of this relationship. I really love this person, but it's like, can I live with the truth? Can you live with the truth knowing that this person has done whatever they've done and still remain going on the same way? That may be the difficult, most challenging thing for you. Okay. So in the present moment, it looks very um, intense here in the present moment. 
Uh, okay, so in the near future, it looks even more intense. Okay, south node is entering into your sign. So it means for the next two years, there's going to be a lot of significant changes, a lot of changes and that you need to be prepared for. Okay, so the tower, it's not a bad thing. It means something in your life is not stable in the near future and you will need to be prepared to restructure something here in your life. You may even need to move. Okay. You may need to even, you know, make a decision here that you don't want to make, but that you will have to make. So let's clarify the tower. What is this tower all about? Why is this tower happening for Scorpio in the near future? Something here about your past in the near future. Tower is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Justice. Something here in the near future has to be set right with your past. So if you haven't completely set something right, something that happened in the past that you avoided, that you swept under the rug, that you didn't really confront, that's going to be something that you need to face in the near future. Okay. Um, it's going to be different for everybody, but for many of you, this has something to do with your past. For many of you, you still have to resolve something here that happened in the past, you know, um, karmically, karmically, you know, which is relating to karma. There's something here that you need to confront and it's not going to be the prettiest confrontation, but it's something that needs to happen here. And once you finally do that, it looks like you're going to be releasing yourself or this person's going to be releasing themselves. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and I see some sort of issues here in the near future where this person either decides to remove themselves from the situation um, or they close themselves off for some reason. Tell me more about the um, Six of Swords here in the near future for Scorpio. The Six of Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Fool and the Temperance. It's interesting, right? Because this person at some point just dis disconnects from you. You all know I don't sugarcoat the readings, so I can't lie in the readings. I can only read what the cards are telling me here. Okay. So for many of you in the near future, there is going to be a brand new beginning, but a lot of you are going to have to restructure your life and it's going to take time for you to have this new beginning. Okay. Some of you still need to heal in the near future. I think you're going to be doing that. Whatever you're doing in the present moment, you know, needing to heal, I feel like you're going to be doing that or your person's going to be doing that in the near future. Because again, someone here, they've waited so long to confront an issue that it's become so bad that they're still not confronting it and they see something breaking down in the near future and they're like nope i don't want to see this for what it is i'm just going to remove myself but then you start to see the true colors of this person you start to see who this person really is because a lot of you scorpio you're all about loyalty right you're a fixed sign you want truth you want clarity i've met many scorpios that have said you know if somebody lies to me that's it i'm cutting them off so for many of you in the near future, you're going to see the true colors of how somebody truly is. Someone can smile in your face and say, yeah, I love you and I care about you. But then their actions tell, say, tell you completely differently. Their actions show you who they truly are. And a lot of you need to be prepared for that. Okay. Because someone here doesn't want to see something for what it is. They're, 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 they, they see it, but they're like, no, I don't want to see it. You know those people, right? That you put the truth in their face and they're like, no, I don't want to see it. No, I don't want to see it. No, I don't want to see it. Tell me more about the two of swords for Scorpio in the near future. So the two of swords is clarified by the three of cups, the page of wands and the magician. Okay. So for many of you, I feel like after you see this, um, it's going to be very clear that it's time for you to move into a new direction. Page of Wands. This is why your challenge here is the chariot, because a lot of you are questioning whether or not you should move forward. You're trying to still hold on to something here that you know you need to let go of. That's what you don't see coming. Eventually, you're going to let this situation go. Okay. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. Intense reading. I feel like this this week, the readings for the water signs are really intense because the sun is in uh, Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. So what does fire and water do? It boils. It boils water. So there's something here that's going to come to a head. Okay, let's get some advice for you. What's the advice?
The advice here is the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Lovers. There's a decision that you need to make. There's a decision that you need to make about a love connection. Okay? You need to decide if this is for you or not. If it's not for you, okay, you need to decide and move forward. Chariot. If it is for you, then you need to be prepared to accept, either receive or offer some sort of opportunity to sustain this relationship. There's something here about you sustaining a relationship, a connection, a marriage, a commitment, potential commitment. But a decision is going to have to be made about this situation moving forward, okay? That's your advice to decide. Pick one side, stick to that side, and move forward. Don't be in this place of maybe, I don't know, I'm not certain, because all that's going to do is it's going to lead to a tower moment. And it's better for you to be honest with yourself and those around you to deal with this situation, restructure it, and move forward, okay? So this is what I have for you, Scorpio, a bit of an intense reading. I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.